Hi, I'm Aubrey. And I'm Brooke. And, and we're, we're the, the Aubrey, Aubrey Blaze team. team. Today we're going to take a look at what to look for inside your home for first time home buyers. There's a lot to look at when buying a home, especially your first one, and it can be overwhelming trying to navigate through all of this um, for someone who does not know and you can be completely lost. Hiring an experienced agent who knows what they're doing is extremely crucial. So make sure that you're asking all the appropriate questions. There are some things that often get overlooked and we just want to make sure that you guys are asking the right questions to your agent and informing yourself as well. So we're going to give you a quick guide for part one and part two to consider things when looking at a home. Um, starting off strong, one of the most important factors we feel is the location. Do you need to be close to work or a daycare? Uh, do you want to be close to other family? Do you need to maintain residency or be in a certain school district? And sometimes it's just a matter of all and you're just looking for the biggest bang for your buck, but it's also smart to keep in mind that a good school district can help with your resale value later down the line. The next thing to consider is the curb appeal. Do you want your home to be in a cul-de-sac or on a corner facing a certain direction? It could be the house is on the top or bottom of the hill, which also can interfere um, or correspond with water drainage. And we have basements here in Kansas City, so it's something to consider. Does the front of your yard have trees? Are they close to the home or far away? Uh, this can cause problems sometimes with foundation issues or plumbing, so it's always smart to look out for. Looking at the front yard, do you like it? What does the roof look like? Things like that. Um, some of those things can be changed, but you gotta you know yourself best. Or is it something that you feel like you would change yourself or you want complete landscaping already done? It's also important to kind of look at what material is being used on the house. Different materials have different upkeep. So, so researching all that, yep. And then the layout of the home. Does your home have a number of bedrooms and bathrooms that you need? Like how many do you think you need? And I'd always start off with the absolute minimum when you do your search, and then you can kind of add up so at least you can have a full broad search for everything. Um, does it matter where your laundry room is located and does the layout of the home affect your everyday activities? And that's all we got. Come back for part two. Also, side note, you're going to be doing an inspection on your house. They're going to be telling you all these details. These are just little side notes to kind of keep in mind and research on your own so at least you know a little bit about them so you feel more prepared when buying a home. Talk to you later. <laughs>